5 p.m. We made it to Jackson today and we struggled for a few hours trying to figure out where to sleep, but we think we found a spot just to wild camp in the cars. Uh, we're waking up at 2 a.m. to hopefully drive to the trailhead <laughs> and start hiking by 3.15 a.m., which gives us three hours to get to the top for sunrise. Um, so I just popped a melatonin and <laughs> we're gonna try to go to bed. It's like 85 degrees and really, really bright out. But I'm gonna do my best. See you guys in a few hours. It's so freaking hot. It's a super weird night of sleep. Um, it was so hot in the van. And then the sun went down and got really cold. And it was such an early time to go to bed. But I'm up. Time to go see if Zach's up and then head to the Tetons. Zach, how'd you sleep? Mm. Pretty shitty. <laughs> we thought we were gonna be able to run the only cars in the lot, but this lot is completely full. I just talked to the guys that park next to me. They're doing middle Teton today. Uh, so we definitely seem early just for doing the top of the lakes, but we're stoked. We started, I think the trailhead is it's like 6,700 feet and the, the Delta Lake sits at just over 9,000 feet. When we go up to Delta Lake, after we shoot and all that, we're gonna come back down like a mile, I think, switch backs, cross over to Surprise and Amphitheater Lakes, uh, and then a bunch of more switchbacks up. I think the reason we can't cut between is because there's a massive mountain in between, but it should be a good loop. So that goes on to the Surprise and Amphitheater Lakes. This goes to Delta. And so we'll have to go back up that later. <laughs> and this is when the off trail begins. Like off trail, or no, it's on trail, but it's not maintained. A Little bit of route finding at the moment. We kind of reach the boulder field that you read about on all trails. Uh, so I'm just kind of checking the, the app. Kind of just going in the general direction, but yeah, it's pretty much just boulders at this point. We're in the last like three quarters of a mile and it, the last little bit has been really steep, really tiring. Um, and now we're kind of at an open rock field with a big rock face right there. And it says we're a little left off the trail, but I think we're just gonna try and go up because it doesn't look like there is a trail. Uh, so we just made it up. We're just gonna hang out here until the sun comes up. It was two hours even, looks pretty sick. It should be a pretty good sunrise. And we see some climbers up there. It's so crazy. So both of us wanted to save on weight and neither of us brought our tripod. So here's my tripod, a little wallet and half stop. <laughs> and Zach's <Right> got <laughs> his GPS Garmin. That's his and tripod. Reach. Showed Zach a little trick that Bree showed me. Um, if you have your, I guess an iPhone 11 only, but if you have it and you turn the flash off, it'll identify that it needs a long exposure because it's really dark out. So just hold still for however long it says, and then it'll literally take like a high quality, not camera level photo, but like a very high quality photo without noise. That's so it's 5.56. We got up here just in time for like 10 minutes of shooting the stars. And then it's been like twilight blue hour since. It's so beautiful. Um, probably have like 25, 30 minutes till sunrise. But based on being in the Tetons in the past, this should totally light up orange. So it should be pretty sick for some cool photos. This is definitely the coolest lake I've been in this park. Probably the state. <laughs> We made it. This is the most colorful lake I've ever seen in Wyoming. It's nuts. Tetons are getting lit up. The reflections are lit up. Zach's got out on this rock and some POV stuff. It's making for some cool photos for me back here. 
This is insane. The sun is really out right now. The orange color's kind of gone, but this is insane. Bree and I actually did a scenic flight here a few years ago, um, and on this side of the park with the main skyline view of the Tetons, you can't get that close uh, because of the national park boundaries, but then on the backside you can, and that helicopter was just in and about those mountains and the snow and ice. So we're pretty positive it was a search and rescue mission. Um, super scary, but they left, so hopefully they got them and they're okay. Um, today is one month to the date since my accident. So I definitely feel for whoever that I hope they're okay. Um, but uh, anyways, we are probably gonna wrap up here at Delta Lake and continue our loop to backtrack and then go to Surprise and Amphitheater Lakes. So heading down, and then once we hit that one switch back, we'll cut back up. Really feeling for that person that had to get rescued. I don't know what happened, but it's just kind of reminded me of my accident. So whoever you are, I hope you're okay. So this is the way that we went all the way up the rocks, up that, and that's the cliff we were at. <laughs> Real fast, there's a little marmot, where you at? But anyways, the trail is right here, so we totally missed that earlier. So now that it's light out and you can see, it's the trail we took to Delta. And now it's the way back, but we're gonna hop up, make a loop. Salvation is tough, it's definitely worth it. There's a little mountain goat I can't keep up with right here. <laughs> so we made it. Here's the sign for surprise and it's right there. Funny because we totally would have passed it and kept going to amphitheater. Um, pretty like easy hike overall but I think the really tough part is that it's just constantly uphill. So you're constantly out of breath but it's not actually like that challenging. It's just tiring as fuck, <laughs> but it's totally worth it. So, right behind these trees, where it's blown out, looks like Amphitheater Lake, which completes the uphill portion of our loop. I think I have like down 3,000 feet back. We'll definitely hang in here for a bit. So we started at 6,800 elevation, I think. Not including all the elevation we did for Delta. This place is insane. I've been to the Tetons so many times and I've never seen any of these places or really heard much on any of them, but I'm starting to just use all trails more and plan that way. Such a sick day. Right now we're on No Name Trail. Zach's like behind that tree. Probably not gonna go too much further because we're beat. But just getting a cool vantage point of Amphitheater Lake. So crazy. So we're heading down now. Probably won't vlog it really. I feel like this video is already super long, but I'll give you guys an update the car on like the total mileage and elevation in case you guys want to do this loop as well. We made it back. First move is ramen. <laughs> A bunch of people think we're leaving, but after that we are taking our time getting back in the car. We are fried. We got the flip flops on because my feet are killing me. So all trails says we did 13.5 miles in 7,200 feet of elevation. I'll put the screenshot. Um, we were anticipating about 3,500 and then we did the added ridge line at Amphitheater Lake or like kind of just up that trail. So I wouldn't have been surprised with like 4,500 feet of elevation, but 7,200 just sounds way too crazy. I mean, we did a lot, but I don't know if we did that much. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Zach and I are gonna eat our faces and then go soak in Jenny Lake. Peace.